stretching forward to what lies ahead. A further look at Philippians. By Clyde Pilkington, Jr. Brethren, not as yet am I reckoning myself to have grasped, yet one thing forgetting indeed, those things which are behind, yet stretching out to those in front, toward the goal am I pursuing for the prize of God's calling above in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3, 13-14, CB. Brethren, I do not imagine that I have yet laid hold of it, but this one thing I do, forgetting everything which is past and stretching forward to what lies in front of me, with my eyes fixed on the goal, I push on to secure the prize of God's heavenward call in Christ Jesus, WT. Brothers, I do not consider myself to have laid hold of it, but I do one thing, forgetting the things behind and straining toward the things ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus, Elib. Philippians is such a wonderful treasure, especially once we see its place in the divine revelation. I have found the challenging and perplexing statements of Paul in this book to be complexly cleared up once we see where it fits the sequence of Paul's ministry. I now view it as the gateway epistle to Ephesians and Colossians. Now, here is the setting prior to the writing of Philippians. The book of Acts has closed with the judicial decree of the blinding of Isarel. The barrier wall is down. Along with Israel, her prophetic hope and program are set aside. Paul's priestly ministry to the Gentiles during the Acts period ceased. Yet until the administration of the secret was actually revealed, that grand pinnacle of divine revelation, where did Paul and the rest of those in the gap between the close of the book of Acts and the writing of Ephesians and Colossians have their standing? At the close of the book of Acts, the slate of revelation was cleared, as it were, and it was not until Paul wrote the book of Philippians that we gain a perspective on the enormous gap that existed between the hope of Israel and the pre-expectation of the current secret administration, a calling that predates the very disruption of the cosmos. The revelation committed to Paul during the Acts period was admittedly out of an installment, 1 Corinthians 13 verse 9, and even midway through Paul's ministry, he knew that he was yet to come to even more visions and revelations of the Lord. 2 Corinthians 12, verse 1. For he had heard ineffable declarations which were not allowed a man to speak during that time. 2 Corinthians 12, verse 4. Yet he clearly knew that whenever maturity may be coming, that which is out of an installment shall be discarded. 1 Corinthians 13, verse 10. In Philippians, Paul reveals his complete forfeiture of all Israel's things, circumcision, the law, etc., deeming them refuse, Philippians 3, 4 to 8 CV. Paul eagerly longed to be attaining and grasping also that for which he was already grasped also by Christ Jesus, forgetting indeed those things which were behind, yet he was stretching out to those in front of him toward the goal he was, pursuing for the prize of God's calling above in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3, 9 to 14. That for which Paul was stretching out to obtain was the grand revelation and writing of Ephesians and Colossians, wherewith he was granted to complete the word of God, Colossians 1, verse 25. These twin epistles of the secret administration were the prize of the high calling, Philippians 3, verse 14. That for which Paul longed to attain in Philippians, we now possess in its fullness in Ephesians and Colossians, the absolute complement, pleroma. His body, the complement of the one completing the all in all, Ephesians 1 verse 23, that you may be completed for the entire complement of God, Ephesians 3 verse 19. A mature man to the measure of the stature of the complement of the Christ, Ephesians 4 verse 13. To have an administration of the complement of the eras, to head up all in the Christ, both that in the heavens and that on the earth, Ephesians 1 verse 10. For in him the entire complement delights to dwell. Colossians 1 verse 19. For his body, which is the ecclesia of which I became a dispenser, in accord with the administration of God, which is granted to me for you, to complete the word of God. Colossians 1 verse 25. And you are complete in him who is the head of every sovereignty and authority. Colossians 2 verse 10. We now with him who have been granted realization have also forgotten the prior things of Israel and are now fully engulfed in the complement, pleroma, of divine revelation. 
For more on the unique theme of Philippians, I would encourage rereading the book Ephesians and Colossians, especially chapter 4. Philippians, Paul's pivotal letter pressing toward the mystery. I would also encourage the reading of the compilation book, The Pleroma, Paul's Lost Teaching, The Complement of Christ of God and of the Ages.